All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. This is Pastor Dowd. I thought I'd come in here just for a moment and try to, again, intrigue the mind, stimulate the mind, and stimulate the thought pattern to get you to think. Now, I understand that, that the, the metals market is, is, is taking a serious hammer in from the manipulation uh, by the powers that be. You must understand that these people do not want you to grasp any way, shape, fashion, or form what real true wealth is. I mean, after all, um, ever since uh, the late 1800s, early 1900s, they've been doing everything they can to make sure that they get this, which is a value, out of your hands um, and to, to give you this into your hands. And I'm going to prove to you something just by a very, 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 very simple demonstration here. I want to prove to you something, and, and I hope that some way, somehow, I am able to open up the minds and the conscience of people to begin them to start to think and start to consider what's going on. Because you're not going to get criminals to admit that they've been wrong. You're not going to get them to say, okay, you know what? It's a Ponzi scheme. We've been manipulating the market. Uh, we have suppressed silver. Uh, we have done everything we could and everything we can to make sure that you people don't understand what it is. Uh, we repent. Um, we just want everything to go away. We want to pay restitution. We want to give all you people reparations out there because we have just totally lied to you uh, for, for the last 40 or 50 years. And I'm talking about the inception um, uh, of uh, old Millhouse Nixon uh, taking us off the gold standard, which other people are responsible for. But since he was the one in authority, he gets all the blame. So the blame shifts to him. All right, now you check this out right here, okay? In my hand right here, I have a $1 Federal Reserve note. I also have in my hand, look at this, a one-ounce Silver Eagle. Let me see, when I get up here, you may can see it. And if you look close enough down there, say, look what it says. It says $1, $1. See it? $1. Now, in reality... In reality, but we're not in reality. We're in a lying system, and your government has been chief at being the perpetuators of this lie. In reality, if you have one of these in your pocket, it's supposed to be backed up by this somewhere. But the truth is, you've got one of these in your pocket. You don't have what I just showed you that it's backed up by. I mean, you got to ask yourself a question. Are Federal Reserve notes, this thing right here, is it really truly a store of value? I mean, how much is this dollar worth today? How much goods and services is this one dollar bill purchasing today? I mean, after all, how much purchasing power do you have by holding one of these Federal Reserve notes in your back pocket? Or if you choose to store it, whether it be in some type of facility and you trust in all these people to store it well for you or your own safe. I mean, how much value has this dollar gained? Let's just go back 40 years in the last 40 years. Well, it's pretty easy to answer that question. You're going to be shocked and you're going to be amazed at my answer, but I'm going to go ahead and lower the boom. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on you whether you like it or not. I mean, you're going to be shocked though. This thing has gained Zero. Now, mind you, this is one dollar. One dollar. And today, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the dollar's value is somewhere around, um, I think, seventy-two dollars or seventy-two cents. Excuse me, seventy-two cents. So, the amount of goods and services that you can buy with this is, you know, seventy-two cents worth. But the truth is, you know, the reason why you don't understand that we are, uh, are experiencing serious inflation is because they are keeping the interest rates so low. So it has your conscious manipulated, it has your mind manipulated that we're not experiencing inflation right now. And so you begin to go out and you begin to buy stuff, but you, hey, even at that, the, the powers that be, the corporations, the people out there in the world, they know that you're not going to be too conscious about, um, you know, the size of the quality uh, and the quantity of the item that you buy is shrinking greatly. They're not going to tell you that. Um, they just hope you don't really notice it and stuff. Now, most of you who are um, independent thinkers, uh, when you hear somebody like me, it will grab hold of your conscience. And then when you go to the grocery store, you'll look at this and you know what? This ice cream is smaller. 
And this bag of chips is even smaller, but yet I'm still playing the same price. And as long as they got you believing that you are still getting the same amount of goods and services for the same price, they don't care. You see the same price. That's all that reflects in your conscience and your mind. And you think that you're uh, not experiencing inflation, but you are because they've already done started jacking you for the amount of service goods that they're giving you for the amount of money that you're paying. And, and of course, you know, this is losing value every day. Mind you, this is one dollar. Well, it's not a store well, but watch this. Here is an American Silver Eagle. It has a one dollar. Hope that camera can focus in and make can't. But anyway, it has a one dollar denomination value on the back of it. And I'm going to pull up here over here for a second and look and see. And we're going to go at today's prices, okay? We're going to go at today's prices. Today it says that this Silver Eagle is worth $31.68. Look at this. Now ask yourself a question. Can you go out right now and buy $31 worth of goods and services, gas, gas, for $1? I mean, that's all. You can take this to a coin shop and you can actually go in there and they will flat out give you at least $30 for this right now. At least $30 right now. So is this truly really a store of wealth? Or is this a store of wealth? I understand. You see, because central banks all across the world are now amassing, uh, I mean, in, I mean, amassing majorly. They're just storing gold and silver all over the place. And they got the, you know, the propagandized news media to keep you in utter deception so you don't know what's going on. You're finished. You're done for. And you know what? They're not planning on ever telling you until... You have a bank holiday one day, and I'm not going to go into explaining all the ins and outs of bank holiday. I'm trying to stimulate mind and conscience. But then, you know, at the same time, for instance, this is $31.68 right now. This is a one-ounce silver eagle, okay? Now, watch this. If I was to try to go and purchase this silver eagle today, okay, it would actually put me out. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you how much it actually put me out if I was to purchase one, okay? Okay, one silver eagle, um, a, a check or a wire, it will cost you $35.76 out the door, all right? And credit card, $36.83, all right? Now, check this out. Again, here's $1 and here's $1. I begin to get this picture, for those of you who don't understand this, I mean, are you really truly beginning to get this picture? Do you see the reason why that you need to start... Um, storing your wealth in tangible assets. Do you see this? I mean, it's really simple. It really truly simple. I understand that sometimes simplicity can be too complex for the analytical mind because I know that we spend a lot of time thinking uh, about stuff that just doesn't matter. Well, all fiat, fiat currencies, every single one of them, they all they all crash. They they, they all do. They all they, they all are not worth the papers they're actually printed on. You can't see it right now because the only option that the United States of America has for anything that we do is to print more money. Have you noticed the economy still has not grown whatsoever at all? Do you notice that they continue to keep talking about printing more money, printing more money? And, of course, you keep on following and being Shannon Bernanke's advice and stuff. You understand that gold and silver is just a store of tradition. That's all it is. But if you continue to keep following these pigs, knowing good and well that they have gold and silver in their portfolios, um, you deserve exactly what you get. And you know what? Um, we see that there's a lot of lawsuits and everything going on right now. And, you know, it, it's only a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. And we're going to find out. And some of you is going to be way, 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 way too late. So, think about that. Let me end this video on this. Here is a $1 Federal Reserve note. And today, you can buy maybe $70.00 maybe $72 worth of goods and services. As a matter of fact, that's probably what the value of it is. But here is a one-ounce silver eagle right here. And this thing is worth today $31.68. If you was to purchase one of them, it will cost you $35.76 to purchase one of these. How many gallons of gas can you get with this? And how many gallons of gas can you get with this? Are you beginning to get the picture? I just told you the truth. And that's the truth straightway.